Okay, everybody, in this next section, number four, for the scratch coding, um, our next step is to code our cat. So our two goals for movement um, when we code this is, number one, we want our cat to react by moving on the screen when we press certain keys. In this case, it's the up, down, left, and right arrow. And number two, we're going to want our cat to react when it touches the color of our wall, the rectangle that we drew in level one. And we're going to start by making sure the cat is selected in the sprites menu. So remember, make sure there's a blue um, highlight around the cat in the sprites menu. And then you want to come up to the top here and make sure you clicked on the code tab. Okay, so the only thing there right now should be what you see on my screen as far as changing the costume. And when the green flag is clicked, it's going to go to a certain location. That's uh, where the cat currently sits right now. So the first thing you want to do is go to the events tab and bring out the one that says when I receive start game. That's what it should say there. And the next thing you want to do is find the forever loop. And the forever loop is going to be found under the control. So you want to grab the forever loop and you want to bring that out and snap it to the bottom of when I receive start game. Okay, and the next thing I want to introduce you to is something called an if-then block. What that means is um, it's a basic logic statement that says when the first item happens, then the second thing is going to happen. So this is the kind of block that we're going to use to move our cat. So if the right arrow key is pressed, it's going to move our cat to the right. If the left arrow key is pressed, it's going to move it to the left. Same thing with up and down. So under the control options on the left side, you're going to find one that says if, then. So you're going to bring this one right here, and you're going to snap it to the forever loop so that it looks like this on my screen right now. Okay, so now that you have this block out here, you're going to want to go down to the sensing section on the left hand side and you will find one that says key pressed and you're going to want to bring that out and drop it right into that section here so that it looks like this and now we don't want it to be the space key in this situation we want it to be the right arrow key so that it says if the key of right arrow is pressed then so what we need to fill this in here with is something under the motion tab called change x by. So if the right arrow key is pressed, then it's going to change x by, and we want to change this from a 10 to a 5. Okay, so now it should look like this. Okay, so the next thing we want to make sure is that when you do move by fives on the x-axis, it's going to want to move the cat to the right. The only thing is we do not want the cat to go through the wall that we created earlier on. In my case, my wall is a green wall. So what I want to do is bring out another block. And that other block, that block is going to be another if then and it's very important that you snap this in the right spot look very closely at the at the page in your directions that you have available to you in your Google classroom but you're going to want to snap it to the bottom of the change X by 5 so that it goes right there and it looks like that okay so the next thing we want to do is bring out a block that's going to say when it's touching a color so you want to go down to the sensing area and find the one that says touching color. And we're going to bring that out and make sure that it drops right in that spot right there. Okay? The only thing is that right now this color purple does not match my color green. So I want to make it an exact match to my color or else it won't understand to stop at that color. So I need to click on this color with the hand 
grab this little color sampler and now when I move my mouse over to my preview area I can go right over this color green and it automatically changes my color to the exact match therefore the cat will then stop when it sees the wall so if we find the area where it says motion on the left side we are going to change X by so if it's touching the green color we're going to change X by a negative 10 so that it's going to bounce off the wall further than the motion went towards the wall and in order to try that out we should be able to hit here the green flag hit the space bar and move forward and then you'll notice that the cat bounces off the wall okay so this here is the code for moving the um, cat to the right and then if it hits the green wall it's going to move it back to the left okay so now what we need to do is recreate this code in order to satisfy the left up and down keys so you'll want to go back to the control tab grab another if then block and be careful where you snap it now this needs to snap right here below the previous if and block okay so what we're going to do in, at this point is okay so there's a couple of ways that you can go about doing this um, one way is to actually go and pull out all the if then blocks and all the key blocks and change x by blocks and touching the color block or you can detach this temporarily you can right click on it and duplicate it and that will give you another one okay so I'm just gonna move this down here for now I'm gonna snap this back in place so what I can do with this now is I can change from the right arrow key to the left arrow key and then uh, I'm just gonna change the X by negative 5 and when it touches this I want to change X by positive 10 okay now that's gonna satisfy my left arrow key so if I take this now and, and I wanted to place it in here I would snap it right to the bottom of the previous one right there so there's my right and left arrow keys now okay if I want to do the same thing and change this around I have to take it out of the the forever loop or the uh, forever loop there and right click and duplicate it again okay drop that off down there for now okay put that in place and now I can use this one to work on the um, up and down arrow keys okay okay so the first thing I'd want to do for the up and down is to change this to say up arrow and this change X is going to be different now it's going to be um, change Y by those numbers and that would be found I think I have to remove this first so I get rid of this X by dropping it off in here I can get rid of this one by dropping it off in here and now I want to bring out change Y by so I'll put that one there I'm gonna drop this back in here okay so it's gonna say when the up arrow is pressed and I need to bring another one out right there change Y and it should be the same as the last one so this time I want the Y for the up arrow to say positive 5 and negative 10 just like that and I'll take this one before I snap it in place I'm gonna duplicate it so that I could use it for my down arrow for now I'll bring this one and snap it right to the bottom there okay now on this one I'm simply going to change the up arrow to the down arrow and I'm going to change this Y to a negative 5 
and change this to a positive 10. Okay, now I'm going to take this here and snap it here. Okay, so right now I want to try out my code. And just to give you a, a, a look at it, here's the code. This is also shown to you in the packet that's located in your Google Classroom. But here's the finished code for the movement of my cat. And in order to test it out and try it, I want to come over here to my preview and hit the green flag. You'll notice that it brings me back to my, my main screen, my first game, and it says press space key to start. So when I press the space bar, it takes me to my level one. And now I can test out my up, down, left, right arrow keys. So if I go to the right, you'll notice the cat moves to the right. If I go into the wall, the cat cannot go through it. It bounces off. If I go up, it goes up. Down, it goes down. I try to work my way around, but if I go up and hit the wall, it bounces off. If I come around the wall and try to go back, it bounces off the other way. Same thing with the down. So therefore, I know that my code is working correctly. So that's the test for that. Hit the stop button to hold on and stop it. Okay, so once you've tested your game out, if your code has no bugs or errors, your cat should animate and you should be able to move your cat around with the arrow keys and be blocked by the rectangle that you drew. Good luck on this one and have fun.